another video for you something different to what I usually talk about usually I discuss narcissism but in this video I'd like to take the focus off the narcissist and put it on you in this video I am going to be talking about how you can increase your happiness and raise your vibrations Please like the video and share your thoughts in the comments. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Share the video with anyone who you believe may help. You can share the video with a friend or on social media. Please get these videos out there so they can help other people. It's very important that you do this. It is also going to benefit you and it will allow you to give back to our community by helping me to share these videos. So please do that, I greatly appreciate it. I am accepting donations. If you enjoy my content and would like to contribute to the channel, please donate. Any amount is appreciated, no matter how small. You can donate through my PayPal link in the video's description below. If you are interested in one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions, please contact me through email, narcsfivercoaching at gmail.com. It can be very beneficial to have someone guide you through your healing journey from narcissistic abuse. My coaching sessions will provide you with further knowledge and understanding of your situation. It will also guide you for the healing and recovery process. So if you are interested in one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions with me, please send me an, an email, narcsfivercoaching at gmail.com. Okay, let's begin. How to be happy and raise your vibrations. This was something I once struggled with. I know what it's like to feel down and depressed, especially dealing with narcissistic abuse. You can't sleep at night because you are constantly ruminating. You struggle to get out of bed in the morning because you have no energy or motivation to do anything. I know what it's like. I've been there. But this can change and it all starts with your belief. You have to believe that it can change. You have no energy because you are constantly thinking about everything that is going wrong instead of everything that is going right. You have no motivation because you have lost that belief in yourself. You are constantly thinking about everything you don't have instead of being grateful for everything you do have. So every day when you wake up, remind yourself of everything that is going right. Be grateful for everything that you do have. If you write down everything that is going right, everything that, that you are grateful for, you will find that you have a very long list of things. If you do this enough, you will wake up automatically being aware of everything that is going right, everything that you are grateful for. It will become second nature. You have to train your mind to see your life in a positive way. Many people these days see themselves and their lives in such a negative way. They are training their minds in a negative way. Constantly focusing on everything that is going wrong. Everything that they do not have. If you do this enough, 
it becomes second nature and you are going to be miserable and depressed. You might need to check the people in your life and see if they are training their minds in this negative way. Do you know people that are, that are always negative? Do you know people who constantly complain about everything that is going wrong in their lives? This is only going to lower your vibrations and make you feel miserable like them. If you are going to become happier and raise your vibrations, you will find that these types of people will no longer resonate with you. They will not be able to vibrate at your level while they have all of those negative thoughts in their heads. You have to stop focusing on these negative thoughts. Stop dwelling on them. Start creating new positive thoughts that will support you on your healing journey. The more you focus on these positive thoughts, the easier it will become. Whatever you focus on, grow stronger. So ensure that you are focusing on those positive thoughts. Positive thoughts lead to positive emotions, while negative thoughts will lead to negative emotions. Ask yourself, how do you want to feel? Do you want to be happy? Or do you want to be miserable and depressed? If you want to be happy, you will need to practice positive thinking. If you look at the emotional vibrational frequency chart on Google Images, you will be able to see all of the levels of frequencies which you could be operating on. The highest vibrational frequency is enlightenment, which is your ultimate consciousness, followed by peace, joy, love, reason, acceptance, willingness, neutrality, courage, pride, anger, desire, fear, grief, apathy, guilt, and shame. It's good to look at this chart and ask yourself honestly, what vibrational frequency are you on? You may find that your vibrational frequency is responsible for your actions and behaviors. Narcissists are shame-based individuals, which is the lowest vibrational frequency. This is why they are always feeding off someone, in, someone else's energy, trying to get a reaction out of them, trying to obtain narcissistic supply. If you feel any guilt or shame, you should always self-reflect and deal with these emotions so that they will not affect your vibrational frequency. If you want to be happy, you need to increase your vibrational frequency, which means you will need to confront any negative emotions you are currently experiencing. Negative emotions like hate, anger, envy, jealousy, desire, fear, grief, apathy, guilt and shame. You cannot vibrate at a higher frequency until you self-reflect and deal with these emotions. Throughout the day, become aware of your thoughts and feelings. Notice the thoughts which pop into your head. Throughout the day, ask yourself, how do you feel? Observe your thoughts and emotions. Do not try to control them. Do not try to remove the thoughts from your mind. Just observe them. Neutrality is where, where your power is. 
Neutrality will allow you to let go of all of the negative emotions. Forgive anyone who has ever made you experience a negative thought or emotion. This will make it easier for you to let these negative thoughts or emotions go. Do not hold grudges. Do not hold any resentment. This will only hold you down at a lower vibrational frequency. You may need to change your environment. The people around you may expect you to remain at the vibrational frequency you were previously at. Negative people will only keep you down at a, a lower vibrational frequency. You need to be around people who are, who are on the same level or at a higher frequency. People who are at a far greater vibrational frequency will not be weighed down by you. They will be able to share their positive energy with you while still maintaining their high vibrational frequency. This is why narcissists who operate at the lowest vibrational frequency will feed off people who are at a high vibrational frequency. The narcissist is like a bottomless bucket that can never be filled. Which is why many victims will end up with, with serious health problems if they are around a narcissist long enough. You need to avoid narcissists and negative people. They will only feed off you and keep you at a lower vibrational frequency. Instead of reacting to your negative thoughts, simply observe them. Remind yourself of everything you have, everything you are grateful for. Begin to create new positive thoughts. Positive thoughts will lead to positive emotions. Positive emotions will lead to more positive thoughts. Become aware of how you are thinking and feeling throughout the day. Become aware of what or who makes you think positive thoughts or positive feelings. Become aware of what or who makes you think negative, negative thoughts or negative feelings. Your observation and awareness of your thoughts and feelings is very important if you wish to raise your vibrations and experience real happiness. Thank you for watching. I hope this video has helped you. Please like the video and share your thoughts in the comments. Share the video with anyone who you believe may help. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. If you would like to donate to the channel, please follow the link in the video description. If you are interested in one-on-one -on -one coaching, please contact me at narcsurvivorcoaching at gmail.com. I will talk to you soon.